Hey everybody, I come to you with a special box opening. It's the Magic the Gathering Ikoria set. It just came out and I'm really excited. It's really it's really cool. I don't know what I'm trying to show you here. It's gonna have 36 booster packs. Uh, you can see it's official plastic. And I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing what I get. It's the set that comes with all the Godzilla cards. Uh, though in this case, with this box, I know I'll get one box stopper, which will be any of the 16? 16 Godzilla cards? There we go. Okay. Ghidorah would be cool. Uh, maybe Mothra. Okay, and I made a little list, so if I do get one of the uh, Godzilla cards, I'll let you guys know. I mean, it won't be it won't be a Godzilla card. It won't be the alternate art one, but it'll be. I can tell you which one it's supposed to be. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay. There's a little box topper. It has the. Uh, a special card. Uh, I'm gonna leave this for last because I know that's a Godzilla card, but these are just gonna be regular run-of-the-mill Magic the Gathering cards. So I'm gonna put these to the side and we'll just open them up. Now I want to get an Artisan Fiend. I've heard that card is really good. Uh, human Soldier. Plane. And we already start off with Kahira. Now, Kahira is not one of the new cards, it's just one of those creatures. Just one of those creatures. Mystic Sub. Sub. Tool. I can't say half of these things. See, now they're doing this on purpose. Footfall Crater. And then here's the commons Fertilid. Unlikely Aid. Wilt. Facet Reader. Thieving Otter, Light of Hope, Cloud Piercer. Now this one is a dinosaur with a mutate ability. That's new for this set. Uh, basically it's like an ability that lets you... Oh, Dead Weight, Pacifism, and Drannis Stinger. It's an ability that um, lets you stack it on top of something something else. Like, uh, what's a good example? Well, not this guy. Can't do it on humans. Let's say you got this Otter. And you're like, I need to mutate it. You can put this ability, I think you stack it like this. And now it gives it reach, and then whatever ability it has. In this case, uh, when it mutates, you may discard a card and draw a card. So that's pretty pretty good. Pretty cool. I'm going to have to start making stacks or something. Yeah, second one. I'm not really sure. Oh, a dinosaur. These are cool. The tokens are really cool. Land. Slither Wisp. Nightmare creature. Elemental nightmare. Migration path. Oh, that's pretty, pretty good. Migration path lets you search your deck for two lands, put them on the field, tapped. So it's a, definitely a good ramp. Caprador, and then Splendid Mare. Now we got ourselves Survivor's Bond, Mysterious Egg. Hey, that's one of the one of the Godzilla cards. Now, in the um, I think it's Japanese only, but it it's uh, the alternate art is Mothra's giant egg or something like that. But in this case, it's just Mysterious Egg, Sun Spinneret, Blade Banish, Gust of Wind. Coordinated charge, keep safe, day squad marshal, hey, cloud piercer again, and corpse turn. Put these guys right here. Oh, that should move that out of the way. Human soldier. 
clean. Oh, look, a foil. Now, our first foil is Patagia Tiger. It's a common, but still, it's really cool. And Dranith Magistrate is our rare. Super rare? I can't remember. Your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. That's interesting. Charge of the Forever Beast. Sanctuary Lockdown. Sonorous Howl Bonder. Then comments we got Whisper Squad. Frutter Lid. Light of Hope. Phase Dolphin. Plummet. Perimeter Sergeant. Essence Symbiote. Or symbiote. Heightened Reflexes. And Blood Curdle. Now after a while we'll, we'll probably get start getting like the same commons over and over again so i'm thinking we'll i'll stop skip i'll start skipping naming them all to make it faster you know oh this is our tokens really neat you could i couldn't even tell that this was in there scoured barons Ooh. quartz wood crasher foil pretty cool looking guy He's not he's not a Godzilla card, but he's definitely cool looking. Oh nice. And to top it off, Vivian Monsters Advocate in the comic alternate art thing. Extended art. She's really good. She's a planeswalker. And she gets you the ability you may look at the top card of your library at any time. And you may cast creature spells from the top of your library. Uh, she generally has abilities like this. Um, I'm trying to remember the last one that I owned. I think it gave you like the ability to look at the top card of your deck or something like that. Her plus one is a create a 3-3 green beast token. Put your choice of vigilance, reach, or trample on it. And for our minus two is when you cast your next creature spell this turn, search your library for a creature card with lesser... Converted mana cost, put it on top of the field, then shuffle your library. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. A lot of creature creature matters abilities. Flourishing Fox. Oh. Chittering Harvester. Now this one is one of their extended arts. I'm sorry, the focus is bad. It doesn't look cool. It's just it's just neat. I really like these. The comic arts. I'm going to put this guy over here. <laughs> Dire Tactics. And then we got... I'm going to put this over here. Ram Through. Shredded Sails. Sleepy Dart. Frost Veil Ambush. Checkpoint Officer. Wingfold Terran. Mutual Destruction. Hey, another one. Migratory Great Horn. That is just really cool. I really... Like, I would really like... More of this. More of this specifically. This just looks good. Forbidden Friendship. Interesting. I'm going gonna, gonna to put all the alternate arts over here. Just put them on the same stack. Very, very interesting. I heard there's another version of that. Or uh, another card with the same art. I'm having the worst trouble with this one. I need to get it. Human Soldier. Thornwood Falls. Ra Rogren Triome. I'm sorry if I'm saying these wrong. I'm really bad at that. Now this one's pretty nice. Triple Land. And Cycling, you know. Ketria Crystal. And we already saw it. Porcu Parrot. This creature has mutated. Oh, you can tap it for that. Well, probably, it'd probably be okay in draft. Trumpeteering Gnarl. And then this one has the, uh, the, uh, mutate text and then the explanation for it. Not all of them have it. Uh, it seems to me that, uh, if they're the, the alternate art, they don't. Probably to, to save space for the awesome, awesome art. But in this one's case, 
Whenever he mutates, creates a 3 3 creature. Pretty cool. And then we got the commons. And I'm going to start Convolute. Convolute. Garrison Gat. Capture Sphere. Got him again. Bushmeat Poacher. Him again. And Volpikit. <laughs> Volpikit. <laughs> Foxbird. I don't know the lore. I'm sure it's like very interesting. And I'm missing out on reading it. Learning about it. But it's it's just fun. It's just fun to see like all the weird stuff. Geruda Doom of Deaths. Now this guy is a Toho creature. He's a Kaiju. He is Gigan. Gigan. Demon Kraken. Oh, he's a companion. Your starting deck contains only cards with even converted mana costs. So if this card is your chosen companion, you may cast it once from outside the game. And when you cast him, uh, when he enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of the library into their graveyard. Then you put a creature card with an even converted mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under your control. That is pretty cool. And you can do it. The, the companion ability, I think, is really good, from what I can tell, in the sense that uh, you get to play it whenever. So the moment you hit six, you can always play Garuda. So I, I think that's really good. Retellian Reflection. Cool looking art. Polywax Symbio. Sim symbiote? Symbiote? This guy is Baby Godzilla. Doesn't know it yet. Boneyard Lurker. Nightmare Beast. With also Mutate. I'm sorry. Then we got Tentative Connection. Is that the same guy? Cliff Catcher Giraffe. Giraffe? Spring Jaw Trap. And then Gust of Wind, Garrison Cat, Blazing Volley, Frenzied Raptor, Cavern Whisperer, Patagia Tiger again. Yeah. Oh. No table required. Forest. Mythos of Snapdax. Snapdax is cool. I want to get him. It's a sorcery uh, that lets you... Let's each player choose an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, a planeswalker from among the non-land permanents they control. Then sacrifice the rest. And if black and red was spent to cast a spell, you can choose the permanence for each player instead. Very interesting. Very strong if you can do that. Easy prey. Raw Green Crystal, Zenith Flare. These are our rares. Then we got Spinnerets, Mysterious Egg again, Honey Mammoth, Gloom Pangolin, Blade Banish of One Mind, Lurking Dead Eye, Wolpikeet again, Prickly Marmoset, and Corpse Turn. Demon Soldier again, Scarred Barons, and a Foil, Crustacean, Crustacean, I hope I'm saying that right, he's got Flash, pretty cool, Lutrid the Spell Chaser, this is, this is what I like about this, look at that, an Elemental Otter, an Elemental Otter, Lutrid the Spell Chaser, and he's a companion, for his companionship, you need to have a non-land card in your starting deck oh each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name so a singleton deck he has flash and when he enters the battlefield if you cast it you copy a target instant or sorcery spell you control we're choosing the new target so it's always a copy that is good lead the tramp the stampede <laughs> skull prophet Glowstone reclu Recluse. Look at that. Look at that spider. That's a spider, right? Yes. <laughs> it's definitely a spider. Greater Sandworm. Bristling Boar. Anticipate. Divine Arrow. One Mind. 
Pyroceratops, Serrated Scorpion, Essence Scatter, Ferocious Tigerilla, a cat ape. I don't see those every day. I don't really see apes every day. Cat. Planes. Hey, look, Quartzwood Crasher again. This time, non foil. Call of the Death Dweller. Titanothrex. Titana. Titanothrex. That is Godzilla. That is the 1111 Godzilla. Both cards, the alternate art and the, the standard, are really cool. So I'm, I'm fine with that. Lord Dracus. Lord Dracus. Connection. Moscow Goriak. Black Hatcher. Yes. Coordinated. <laughs> Blister Spit Gremlin. Ah, that's nasty. Phased Often. Essence Scatter. Frenzied Raptor. Night Squad Commando. We're not even halfway. <laughs> We're not even halfway there. Okay. Human soldier. Swamp. Thieving otter, but in hollow foil. Zagoth Triome. This one is the triples. Avian Oddity. Momentum Rumbler. Back for more. That is six mana. Six mana instant. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. When you do, it bites up to one target creature you don't control. So it's like a monster reborn and a... Uh, I don't remember the name of the card. But it lets you fight. That's pretty neat. Raking Claws. Survivor's Bond. Helica Glider. Crustacean. Main Serval. Volpe Keep. Go for Blood. Dark Bargain. Pa Fair Farfinder. I was, I was saying that, right? Farfinder. Oh, oh. Come on. Human Soldier. Bloodfill Caves. Look at that. Emergent Ultimatum. That is very specific mana cost. Search your library for up to three monocolored cards with different names and exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards. Shuffle that card into your library. You may cast the other cards without paying their mana cost. And then you exile it. That is a powerful sorcery. Wingspan Mentor. Proud Wild Bonder. Primal Empathy. Then we got the Trap. Adventurous Impulse. Startling development. Startling development indeed. Dranith Healer. Hampering Snare. Divine Arrow. Prickly Marmoset. Ill. It's Leech. Migratory Great Horn. Oh, look, there it is. Cathartic Reunion. Cathartic Reunion. What happened? I don't know. I need to read the lore. Oh, okay. the companion? As each game begins, you can place one card with companion here if your starting deck meets its condition. You may cast it once from here. Companion slot. That is good art, too. Tranquil Clove. Oh, Mythic. Winota, Joiner of Forces. She's a legendary creature, legendary human warrior. And whenever a non-human creature you control attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until the end of the turn. And then you put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Whenever a non-human creature you control attacks. So you can have a, a 3 mana cost creature, play her, then have the 3 mana cost creature attack, and then maybe have what's a good human? Yes. Bastion of Remembrance. Monstrous Step. Necropanther. God damn. Necropanther. Mutate. Whenever this creature mutates, return target creature card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. 
and just spawns them back up. He could summon more panthers. That's pretty cool. Almighty Brushwag. Brushwag. Why is he the Almighty? Oh, because he has Trample. Of course. Of course. Whisper Squad. Aggie's Turtle. Glimmer Bell. Imposing Vantasar. Blister Spit. Gremlin. Go for Blood. Excavation Mole. I'm assuming that's all they do. Cavern Whisper. Look at that. He's a nightmare. He mutates, gains menace, and whenever this creature mutates, each opponent discards a card. Fitting for black. Fitting. Rumbling Rock Slide. To end that pack. I have like a pile of just cat island. Mythos of Vadrock. Vadrock. Mythos of Vadrock deals 5 damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. And if white and blue was spent to cast a spell, until your next turn, those permanents can't attack or block, and their activated abilities can't be activated. For 4. 4 damage. 4 damage across the field. I mean, I've seen worse. Neutralize. Neutralize. Counter target spell and it has cycling. Keen Sith Mentor. And we got ourselves a Parcel Beast. Parcel Beast. Mutate. And for one mana and tap looks at the top card of your library. And if it's a land, you can you get to ramp. And if it's not. Oh, if you wait, okay, let's if it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield. If you don't put that Put the card onto the battlefield. Put it into your hand. Oh, that's pretty cool. So he, he's a he's a draw. He's a good parcel beast. Raking claws, wilt, unlikely aid, adaptive, shimmer, shimmer, snare, tactician, starting development, frost links, corpse churn, pacifism. I love that card. I always use it. Go for blood. So I just created pacifism like. An 11-11 Hydra. You know. As you do. And Eerie Ultimatum. Lots of ultimatums. This one returns any number of target permanent... Any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard onto the battlefield. Eerie Ultimatum. Now, there's a black sorcery that does that general idea, but I think it only summons creatures. It's Liliana something. I wish I remembered everything. Be easier to do stuff. Raw Green Crystal. Huntmaster. Huntmaster Liger. I think that guy is King Caesar. One of the King Caesars. Cunning Nightbonder. Now, from there, we got Adventure's Impulse. Humble Naturalist. Spell... Spell Eater Wolverine, Light of Hope, Adaptive Thingy, Wing, yeah, Mutual Destruction, Mole, Cathartic Reunion, Cavern Whisper. Okay, I'm starting to get a big pile here. I'm probably gonna have to move this to the side. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I've moved some of these to the train. Train. I'm sure I put some of these in the wrong spaces, wrong places here. Um, I'll fix it later. Now, got ourselves a human soldier, rug and highlands. And a Bonder's Enclave. Bonder's Enclave is a land that taps for waste energy. I forgot what it's called. And then for three tap, you draw a card and then activate its ability only if you control a creature with power four or greater. Oh, neat. Weaponize the monsters. Salvi Crystal. Sprite Dragon. Oh, this one is Dorat. Dorat, a little small creature thing. Spontaneous Flight. 
for the lid. Wilt, yes. Sleep retard, yes. Memory leak, that's new. Memory leak. Memory leak. That's what I have all the time. Comes right out. I'll only point out new comments at this point. Card. Forest. Everquill Phoenix. That is a pretty, pretty foil. With mutate and flying. Whenever this creature mutates, create a red artifact token named Feather. With one mana cost, sacrifice Feather. Return target Phoenix card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. That is cool. It revives itself. As long as the feather's still around. Which is interesting. Interesting. Put this guy here. And to go along with that, we got Yorin Sky Nomad. Legendary Bird Serpent. Huh. Oh, this one's a companion. If your starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than the minimum deck size, this is your companion. It has flying, and when Yorin enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-land permanents you own and control. Return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. So it gets to blink. Blink at turn 5. Gotta be strong somewhere. Flourishing Fox. Regal Leosaur. Dinosaur Cat. Proud Wadbonder. Wolverine. Snare. Sabai. Terran. Hind Reflexes. Red Instant. Night Squad Commando. Pacifism. And Cloud Piercer. Cloud Piercer. You magnificent Cloud Piercer, you. There we go. If you notice some shaking, it is the train. It shakes things. Some black water, and we got a cub warden. That is really cool. Look at those right there. He's got mutate and lifelink. Whenever this creature mutates, create, a, create two 1 1 white cat, cat creature tokens with lifelink. That is good. I will use this in a cat deck or just a white deck. That's pretty good, nonetheless. That over there. We got Ivy Elemental. Void Beckoner. That Void Beckoner right there is Space Godzilla Void Incarnate. Void something. Void something. Or the other one. We know the one. That's a nightmare horror. General's Enforcer. Suffocating Fumes. Mammoth. Gremlin, Glider, Facet Reader. I think I've gotten this one. Gotten that one. Gotten that one. B Boot Nipper. <laughs> Lava Serpent. Farfinder. Farfinder. I have every time. I say that wrong every time. I'm opening it. It's working. Human Soldier. An island. Extinction event. Extinction. Extinction. <laughs> Extinction. Sorcery. Choose odd or even. Exile each creature with converted mana cost of the cho chosen value. Zero is even. For four mana. Each creature with the chosen value. I guess... I, I wonder if that works with tokens. Ominous Seas. Swallow Hole, Pouncing Shore Shark. I feel like this makes a story, right? Ominous story. Evolving Wilds, Ram Through, got that one, I think. Yes, yeah, uh-huh, yep. Oh, Fire Prophecy, pretty cool, pretty cool. Memory Leak, and there it goes. Now, in this box, we got 36 packs. I don't know how many we've done. One of these again. Forest. Void Beckoner again, but this time he's hollow. He is a foil. 
He's a nightmare horror in charge. Nethroy, Apex of Death. One of the apexes. He's a legendary creature that's a cat nightmare beast. Cat nightmare beast. With death touch and lifelink. And whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Holy heck. Now, Deathroy. Oh, no. Deathroy is Violante. I don't think I said that right. That is the kaiju he is. Or the alternate art one, anyway. Dustfang Mentor. Savai. Savai Thundermate. I always like looking at the red white cards. They're always interesting. Oh, insatiable Hemelfig. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always in all of these. I don't I haven't seen all the arts. So every time I see this, see a new one, I'm like, just awesome. Nightmare. That touch. Whenever this creature mutates, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Yeah, so that is pretty good looking. Unlikely aid. Bushwhack. Keep safe. Plummet. Phantasaur. Great horn. Prickly marmoset. Coil bug. That's a new one. Durable co coil bug. Dreamtail herring. Okay. Now, let me check real quick. We got ourselves a stack of seven here, but if we go over here, we got another stack of counting ten. So we got seventeen down. Seventeen left. Seventeen left to go. Nothing over here. Seventeen left to go, and I still haven't seen a fiend artisan. Beast. Dismal Blackwater. Mythos. Mythos of Nethroy. Right there. Instant. Destroy target non-land permanent if it's a creature, or if green white was spent to cast a spell. I don't know. Okay. Is that is that is it just me or is that worded weird? Let me, let me say that again. Destroy target non-land permanent if it's a creature or if green-white was spent to cast a spell. Yeah, yeah. No way I say it. I, I, I feel like I'm just... Um, Lloyd Beckner again. Zagoth Crystal. And we got ourselves a Regal Leosaur. Regal Leosaur. Mutate. And when it is, whenever this creature mutates, other creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. That is good. I think that's pretty good, right? I would say so. It's pretty good looking, too. I'm just going to skip until... Hey! Dream Hill... Dream Tail Heron. We got two awesome art cards in this pack. Elemental Bird. Flying. And whenever this creature mutates, you draw a card. Of course, for blue. You know, blue loves drawing. Human soldier. And I, uh, sorry, an island. Pouncing shore shark. It's a shark beast, but which beast is it? Which beast is it? Titan's nest. Enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Exile a card from your graveyard. Add one. Spend this mana only to cast a colored spell without X in its mana cost. I would say that's good for four mana. Right? At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library, right? So it works well with Vivian. And then you can also put that card in the graveyard. So if it's not a creature for Vivian, you can always just send it to the graveyard for something else. Will of the All Haunter. Grim Dancer. That's just... That's, that's a horror right there. Majestic Auricorn. Auricorn. 
Sandworm. Raking Claws. Blood Curdle. Lava Serpent. I'm just looking out for uh, alternate arts. Which can even be common, which is green. I mean, there's something else to do besides just flipping through the commons. Oh, right. General Hollow. Colossification. For seven mana, you can enchant a creature. And when it starts a battlefield, you tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus 20, plus 20. 2020. For the year 2020. 2020. 2020. Turns out the case of the Flan Outpost and the case of the Missing Kin were related. Were related. Endress. <laughs> Colossification. Omnisease. Valiant Rescuer. Heartless Act. Uh, and then let's just flip through these to see if there's anything. Any art? Essence Symbiote. Symbiote. Forbidden Friendship. I'll have to move those again soon. Well, here, let me just lean these up a little bit. Just these are all the rares. We got mythics rare. No, we these are the uncommons. Those are rares. Yeah, there we go. Tokens mountain ah shark typhoon. See, I really wanted this card. Don't know why. Shark Typhoon. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX blue shark creature token with flying, where X is that spell's converted mana cost. Now I need those tokens. Cycling for three. Whenever you cycle Shark Typhoon, create an XX blue shark creature token with flying. Oh, for the cycling cost. I was trying to figure out where the X comes from. That is uh, interesting. So even when you don't have the mana, you can always be like, well, I really need a, a blue shark creature token with flying. So Exuberant Wolf Bear, Sonorous Owl Bonder, and Splendor Mare. Splendor Mare. Blue Grown. Blade Vanish. Oh, I haven't gotten this one. Aggie's Turtle, 0 5. Vanilla, 0 5. Just what we need. Catbird. I wonder what, what makes a catbird. Dirge bat. Dirge bat. It's got mutate, flash, flying, and whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. That is uh that is hefty for four mana. Now, I don't remember if the this ability triggers when you mutate something. Well, even if it did, for six mana, that's 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 pretty that that's pretty solid. Six mana instant kill something. Kill something. And Dirge Bat is uh now Dirge Bat is the kaiju that I'm trying to remember the name of the kaiju. I wrote it down. It is Batra. Ah, I should have remembered that. Batra. But I think it's only in Japanese exclusive, so Survive Crystal, Weaponize the Monsters, Alert Heat Bonder. Heat Bonder. Likely aid, ran through. Solid footing. Dead weight. Rumbling rock side. Pyroceratops. I feel like I've gotten this one, but I honestly can't remember. I may be confusing it with the Phoenix, to be honest. Human soldier. Forest. Blade Banish. Now, it's a cool art, right? And it's much much cooler when it's foil, right? Instant, exile target creature with power 4 or greater. So when somebody has mutated a big enough creature, you just, you just bleh. Sky Cat Sovereign. Pretty sure I said that right. Elemental Cat with flying. It gets plus 1, plus 1 for each other creature you control with flying. And for 4 mana, it creates a 1-1 one, one white cat bird creature. There's the cat bird creature guy. He makes some of these. Some of these. See, and then their artwork even matches, you know. They really do. 
begin to stampede. Parcel beast, hey, parcel beast. I think this is the first time I get his regular parcel beast. And look at that, pouncing shore shark. Now, the original art holds a special place in my heart, but this is, this is good looking too, you know? Shark beast. He's got flash, so he just shows up whenever he wants to. And whenever this creature mutates, you may return target creature with an opponent controls to its owner's hand. Whisper Squad. Uh, uh, Sleeper Dart. Push Me Bouncer. Frenzy Raptor. And Memory Leak. Of course. Okay, I reorganized this. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to put this stack, fat stack, over there. Okay. I'll put Vivian on top. That's my own planeswalker right now. Okay. Companion card. Tranquil Cove. Zerda the Dawn Walk Waker. Elemental Fox. And it's a companion. For her companionship, you need to have each permanent card in your starting deck uh, has to have an activated ability. Activated ability. Abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the mana in that cost to less than one mana. Huh. Three mana, two. Polywog. Ive Elemental. Skull Prophet. Then we got Spontaneous Flight. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to try to breeze through this. I'm going to go... You know, super speed. I am speed. We'll go as fast as I can. I'm really having a hard time opening this. Uh, there we go. Beast. Swamp. Mori the Collector. He's an ooze. For your companion... Oh, for his companionship, you need to have each non-land card in your starting deck to share a card type. Oh, that is difficult. Each non-land card. As Amori the Collector enters the battlefield, choose a card type. Spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cost to cast. Four mana. Four, four, five. I think he's strong, right? Cloud piercer. Okay. I am speed. Human soldier. Thornwood Falls. Fiend Artisan! I was looking for this guy. He is a nightmare. He is two mana. Black and green. Black or green. He gets plus one, plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. That's gotta be good somewhere, everywhere. What am I talking about? And he's got an activated ability to go along with that. For two mana, or well, X and black or green, and tap, you can sacrifice another creature. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. And it, you can cast it as a sorcery. That is that is a strong card. That is a strong card. He exists. He's here. Deal with it. Hornbash Mentor. Porky Parrot. Oh, that's standard Porky Parrot. And then... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Looking, for, looking for alternate arts. Does Feed and Artisan have an alternate art? That would be cool if he did. I don't know. To be honest, I, I don't. I don't know. Soldier, forest. It in the th triome. A foil, rare land. Genesis ultimatum, to go along with that. To sorcery, look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield, and the rest into your hand. That's a good one, right? That's good. That's that's good. That's good. Ice to me. I mean, what do I know? Bum, bum, bum. I'm going through these. I should have cleared up that pile. Maybe I will. Human soldier. Mountain. Oh, the other planeswalker. Luca Copper Coat Outcast. That is nice. I'm going to explain all of his abilities. Exile the top three cards of your library for plus one. Creature cards exile this way. Gain. You may cast this card from exile as long as you control Luca. For minus two, you can exile target creature card. 
you control, then reveal cards from top of the top of your library until you reveal a creature card with higher converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So it gets the upgrade. And for minus seven, each creature you control deals damage to its power, equal to its power, to each opponent. Luca, you magnificent. Something. Reconnaissance mission. Clash of Titans. Channeled Force. All of these are new. Right? Yeah. All of these are new. Alternate art. Alternate art. Is that guy new? Yes, he is. Going through these. Kraken. Wait, do we have anything that summons a Kraken? Haven't missed it? Ooh. Auspicious Hysterics. See, I know Auspicious. I can say that one. I don't know if I said that right. Look at that. I didn't know I needed these in the foil. He's an Elk Beast with Mutate, and whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanent cards, where X is those permanent cards onto the battlefield. Dang. Oh, and then we got Frontland Faladar. Vigilance. Creatures you control with Vigilance have one tap, tap, target creature. A lot of tap. A lot of tap. Crystal. Zag of Mamba. Flame Spill. Unexpected thing. Oh. Ooh. Unexpected things. Frost Links. Forbidden Friendship. Blood Curdle. Oh. Yeah, let me clean these up. Okay. Home straight. Why am I so bad at opening these? Okay. Tokens. Swiftwater Cliffs. Crystalline Giant. Oh. Crystalline Giant. Artifact Creature. At the beginning of your combat, on your turn, choose any kind of counter at random. He That doesn't have what that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it from Among Flying First Strike. Death Touch, Hexproof, Life Link, Menace. Reach, Trample, Vigilance, and plus one, plus one. Put a counter of that kind of crystalline giant. That is Mecha Godzilla. Sanctuary Smasher. Going through these. Come on. Catbird. Planes. Zagoth Crystal. Foil. And that's a triumph in alternate art. That is really good looking. Mm, nothing there. Human soldier. Mythos of Iluna. Ooh, I haven't gotten a Luna yet. Maybe I'll get a Luna. Create a token as a copy of target permanent. If Red and green was spent to cast a spell. Instead, create a token that's a copy of that permanent, except, except the permanent has when this permanent enters the battlefield. If it's a creature, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. That's that's interesting. Going through these. Memory leak at the very end, of course. Swamp. Karuga the Macro Sage. That is not focusing. Why won't you focus? Dinosaur Hippo. He's a companion. For his companionship, your starting deck has to contain only cards with converted mana cost 3 or greater in land cards. That's not that hard of a requirement, right? When Karuga enters the battlefield, draw a card for each per other permanent you control with converted mana cost 3 or greater. He's a big boy. That is not focusing. I don't know why it's not focusing. Puno the Wishgiver, Fight as One, Throw Skill Mentor, and Commons. Commons, Commons. Last pack, last pack. What can we end on? A human soldier. An island. A blood fell caves in hollow. Nice. And Kogla, the Tyne Ape. That's King Kong, right? Right? 
Let's see. Kogla? King Kong? Is he not one of the... I don't think he is. He is not. He's just there. As a great ape. When he enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Whenever he attacks, he destroys target artifact or enchantment defending player controls. And for two, return target human you control to its owner's hand. He gains indestructible until end of turn. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Barrier Breach. Sprite Dragon. Auspicious Sterex in regular. Regular art. And then I think that's it. Yep. Looks like that's it. Well, this is very messy. This is not focusing. But I hope you guys enjoyed. These, uh, let's flip through these real quick. And it's not focusing again. Look at that. Why is that there? Got ourselves a pretty good haul. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. And I'll see you next time. Okay, I forgot to open the box topper. So, let's do that real quick. Oh. Okay, and our Godzilla card is... Baby Godzilla, Ruin Reborn. Oh, it's cute. It's a hollow, too. I didn't realize it was going to be a hollow. Anyway, now that's it.